What up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my Sailor Moon news reviews and product merchandise review channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so because every single week I post all sorts of different unboxing videos and reviews and also how to's so that you can learn how to purchase items online too. This week I have a bunch of boxes that I got from Japan and I'm so so excited about opening these. Most of these are items that I got from sellers uh, either reselling on eBay or I found them all over Instagram for example, but all of them are from Japan so I had to wait such a long time for the post office to actually deliver them. But let's go ahead and get started. Oh, this first one gave me a bag. That's so nice. It's from the Sailor Moon store too. If you haven't seen this plastic bag, the bags for the Sailor Moon store are really adorable so I actually keep them every time I go to the Sailor Moon store I've been there twice now and I've also had a few friends send me these bags so I have a lot of these bags but I like to keep the bags because they're really nice plastic but they are they're durable so it's really nice bag to have on hand but this first item dear Sailor snubs thank you for your recent eBay order once your item has arrived we would appreciate your positive feedback we look forward to receiving your next order thank you and they put a little origami fish in there oh Oh, origami fish. Cute. Okay, next up, what is this? I don't remember what I ordered. Oh, I know what this is. Yay! I'm so excited. I don't need that anymore. Okay, so this is dun dun dun, dun a very, very hard to find item. It is the Sailor. Okay, there we go. I don't want to break it. It's very fragile. It is the Sailor Moon Store limited edition soy sauce container and I do have one of the other soy sauce containers up there already uh, but that one is just straight up clear. It doesn't have all these pretty little pink vibes going on with it. So I wanted the Sailor Moon Store one because it has the pink vibes and it's got the cute little rose on it so it's a little bit more classy I think. Uh, but I'm definitely not going to use this for soy sauce because it's too pretty for that. Maybe I'll put some perfume in it if I really want to. It looks like it's unused and brand new, so yeah, I might just display it. I wonder if I could use this for essential oils and then like stick a couple of those little sticks inside of it so that they end up like making the room smell good. That would be a good idea. Hmm. So that's pretty and it came with the bag, which is nice. Okay, so next up we have another box. I don't know what's in here. Ah, I know what this is. Yay. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so we have the Q-Pot Sailor Moon Green Mug. Yay. And everybody hollers. What? Okay, so that means that I have all of the Q-Pot Sailor Moon mugs from all of their collaborations. There are one, two, three, four, five, six mugs in total. So I can now decorate my complete collection of mugs on my shelf. And I'm so happy that I completed this collection because these mugs are beautiful. I love the print. This one was extremely hard to find. I had to pay a pretty penny for it on eBay, but I did anyway because I wanted it. Uh, this one has pretty gold foil along with that nice mint color on it, which is also one of my wedding colors from back in the day. I feel old. And it also has all of the inner scouts on it in their cute little cute pot dresses. Yay, pretty thing. I love pretty things. Yay. Next up I have the Rainbow Moon Chalice Proplica. Uh, this came out a while back. I missed it when it first came out, so I ordered it from a Japanese seller and it came in just fine and it looks really, really pretty and I'm very happy that I was able to find it. Oh, it looks like it's the international version because it has the choking hazard thing on it. And it also has the Toei sticker as well in that specific purple and silver color. But I'll go ahead and open this on air for you. On air as if I'm live. This will be displayed back there along with all my other items and accessories and whatnot, but I will save the booklet because these are super useful. Let's see, there's two modes on it. The front of it has the button, it looks like. So I will have to get batteries for it, but it does have two buttons on the back, the green one and the blue one. The front of it, the little crescent moon, is another button and that oh i guess i think that's used to actually open it maybe Ooh, it comes off look at that 
<laughs> I have a lot to learn with this new device. Oh no, the bottom fell off. Oh, that's where you turn it on. Cool. Yay, I got a thing. Oh, this is so exciting. Yay, I love Proplicas. Okay, so again, I'm not gonna do a full review on this because it has already come out, but that's what it looks like. It's super pretty and it does make noises as well. However, I don't have batteries for it, so I will have to go and get some batteries from CVS or wherever uh, later on this week. So the next items actually didn't come from Japan. These came from Germany. So I went to Gamescom last month and it was really fun. And that's one of the reasons why I haven't posted in a month, but at Gamescom, they did have a couple of of Sailor Moon items available in the vendor hall along with all the video gaming things too. So first off I got this really pretty fan which I believe is a bootleg fan. As soon as I got it I was like I don't see a Toei sticker but it's still very pretty. It's a really cute fan which features Usagi as well as Chibiusa in their Sailor Scout uniforms and it says Sailor Moon on the side of it. I also found this Sailor Moon Legends figure. So I will probably keep her in the box because I don't necessarily have a need to take her out. Uh, but this is a really pretty figure. Uh, this one was hard to find. I believe they only did this one and they did a small run of her. So she's pretty hard to find at a decent price. You can find her online on eBay quite often for more expensive prices. Uh, but she does have a bunch of different faces and she is posable so you can move her around and she comes with a cute little circle display and there's also a Luna in there too that you can stand next to her. All right, and lastly, this is from Hobby Link Japan. I got another Proplica. So I haven't even opened this one yet, but this is the Japanese version of the Moonstick Proplica. Uh, the Moonstick Proplica did come back up as a pre-order because they decided to do a reissue of this Moonstick Proplica because it was so popular. I hope they do the same thing for the Kaleida Moonscope. That would be lovely. This one again is not a new Proplica, so I'm not going to do a full review of it. However, I will open it up and let you know what it looks like. The booklet that comes with it is very nice and detailed, just like all the other Proplicas that you'll receive. This one takes the same kind of batteries, the LR44, you need three of them. A lot of pieces. Here's lots of pieces. I'm gonna need to read through the directions to know how to use this because I haven't gotten to play with one yet, so I will do that later. Why does it feel oily? Gross. So this is interesting. There's like three different versions that you can use with this moonstick. So you have the normal moonstick without the crystal inside of it. And then you also have where you can press down on both sides of the crescent moon on the left and right. This pops out and then you can install the first crystal inside of it. Like so, that's cool. I hear my cat out there and she's like growling. So you can also take off this plastic piece from the silver crystal and you can stick it inside of here to display it separately. So that's really pretty too. Cool. I'm like brand new to this Proplica. So this is really fun. I prefer this version where it's inside of the moonstick like so. So lastly, to display this Proplica, it snaps into its base like this, and then I can just stick it up there. Now nicely, the Proplicas that are coming out next year feature one of the brooches, one of the original brooches for Sailor Moon, as well as the disguise pen, and both of those can be featured alongside the Moonstick. So if you have this Proplica, you will be able to display them in a whole solid display or a whole like three piece display stand together, which is gonna be really, really cute and very cool. Now again, with this one, I need to get the batteries for it, but I'm not doing a full review. However, you can see how gorgeous it is and how beautiful it looks. I still feel like it's kind of oily, which is really weird, but maybe they like oil them down before they send them or before they package them. I don't know, it's just a little weird. All right, so that is everything from Japan that I have received and it is all so very, very beautiful and I love everything that I received. So I'm super happy about that. Now again, you can subscribe if you are interested in ordering your own items from Japan. I will be doing some tutorials of how to do that too. And don't forget to like and comment and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. And let me know what your favorite item from this collection was. I think my favorite is probably the Moonstick Proplica because I have been waiting for that for so long. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Jenny.